Colleen Atwood is our costume design, and what can I say? She's got a row of Academy Awards uh, on her mantle that speaks for itself. She's a magician, and she's done many uh, pictures for Tim, so they have kind of a sign language. I've worked with Colleen many, many times, and she cares so much, and she's just great at texture. When I first talked to Tim about Sweeney Todd, he, in his own expressive way, said he wanted to create a world that felt sort of mid-Victorian without making it too precious and to try to have a bit of fun with it as well. Costumes are another character in the movie. She gets that and she's as important as anybody in terms of helping the tone and performance of the whole piece. What you'll see in the work of the costumes for this movie as far as the inspiration, where they came from, it's sort of a combination of different parts of London from 1830 to 1865 and then just combining it together and trying to create our own world more than a period. Most of the great actors I've worked with, when they put on a costume, they become the character. It helps them to find who the character is. So the costumes themselves have to have a certain weight to them. A lot of it has to do with the palette that Tim has used for the film, which is very much in the grays and browns and blacks. For Sweeney Todd, Johnny and I tried on some different stuff, and then we found there was this neck rag that I had, and he put it on, and we're like, uh, that's Sweeney. And it was our starting point for the character. We have some fantasy stuff in the movie. It's Johnny's bathing suit. This is his character's costume when he was young, which is a much lighter, kind of warmer sort of quality. And the jacket and trousers were, were much kind of warmer, rich colors. This is his barbering coat, which he wears a lot in the movie. It's all hand sewn, so it's got a nice early feeling to it. One thing that came a little bit later was the holster rig for his razor. So we made this holster with hobnails in it, and then I put hobnails on his boots. So we had fun with little tiny details. Mrs. Lovett with the mad hair and the big eyes and, and the shadows and the costumes for her were in the beginning quite poorly and then as the pie shop started doing better we just added more stuff. Her costumes ultimately became quite ornate. I love all my outfits. I mean, frankly, I could just live in them all the time, apart from the corsets. So it was fun to evolve with her costumes with sort of this madcap character. This is her early costume, which is, you know, her poor costume. We have a lot of layers in this period, and this goes underneath the costume. It's actually an all-in-one underwear from the period. Sometimes the petticoats and things are as beautiful as the costumes. This is a petticoat for one of her costumes. I had also with other actors like Alan Rickman, a great time developing his costume. We had a great collaborative process. We had a really good time, Colleen and I, because you look for clues in a script, and the big clue is when the Beatle says to me, well, maybe you should sort of clean yourself up a bit and take the dust off your waistcoat, and maybe a shave would be a good idea. So I thought, well, if this guy's wandering around and not shaving properly and with dust on his coat, let's take this further. So I have some pretty horrible stains all over my clothes and my nails seem to need urgent care from a manicurist. Stubble, you say. Are you there? I had a blast with the beetle. You get a guy like Timothy Spall and your mind goes crazy because he's such a wonderful actor and such a great study of human nature he's someone that really enjoys the period and and enjoys the character of the period and so for a costume designer it was great to have fun with his character the hat shape was my initial take on the character this coat could also be like the skin of an iguana <laughs> and you know little things like this ring and the stick and it's all rather stylish and pretty and rather worrying he loved it all. We had a great time kind of coming together with this sort of silly, kind of almost frilly design, but realized in very tough materials because he had to prove he was a tough guy. For 
Pirelli took a whole spectrum of uh, evolution. We thought, well, maybe he should have a course at be sort of a rooster, which is sort of where we ended up with, with Sasha. He's definitely got the brightest costume in the movie. It's sort of a combination of a circus and a matador. He wears this and then we pad out his chest so he looks like a big rooster. We made him a cape for his entrance. The ballroom sequence, of course, I was very excited to get to do because I had a a total vision of what I thought it should be from the beginning. It was sort of surreal, but real. Tim, or perhaps Colleen, suggests it should be a fancy dress ball. So it became a fancy dress ball. A lot of the women are in about 1830s fashion. And so we just do the appropriate hairdo, but slightly, hey, I'm at a ball version of it. <laughs> the masks we all made, and it was a fantastic mixture of all different kinds of ideas and I had a great time designing the mask. So it's fun to do because you get a certain body type and you can make them a chicken. You get a certain body type and you can make them a pig. We had a great time with all the, all the characters in it to evolve sort of this sort of animalistic world. What I love the most about making movies is that every movie is different, that you're always learning new things that you can always develop new ideas especially with tim it's always fun to come into the movie because it is a work of art it will be very different from any stage version it's completely reinvented it'll be a new experience it's a beautiful marriage from completely different worlds you never know if it's going to run you have the Sondheim world and then you have Tim re-sculpting of it and that's what's great to me. I think everybody involved in it had the sense that it's a really exciting project and have been thrilled by making it. The making of it has been really exciting. It's Tim Burton at his best, most inventive. His vision, his passion, he's outdone himself and that's what's great to me. Every time just trying to do something different and this certainly was that makes this horror movie a musical and humor emotion light dark puts them all in there it's a very scary suspenseful movie i honestly don't think this is like any other movie at last my arm is complete that's all very well but what are we going to do about him The proceeding has been a paid advertisement for Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street.